first video we are watching today is a Darman. Dub. Dude, we haven't watched. When was the last time we watched a Darman video in this? It's been a while, right? A lot of you guys sent me this one because of how outlandish the title is. Most Darman videos are like kid gets picked on in class. This one is a child trying to kill their own mother for an iPhone 14. What happens next is shocking. Oh, really? I would have never guessed that would have a shocking ending from a Darman video. Remember how we used to love silence? <laughs> If I had a kid that was disrespectful at a funeral, I would literally, I would fucking scream at him. If I'm at a few, if I have a kid one day and they're a cat at a funeral, I'm losing my shit. I would smack the shit out of him. I don't, dude, I don't give a fuck. I'll say, I'd be like, I'd be like, you're being a fucking dick bag. Someone died and you're fucking being, oh, I'm going to play my DSI. Fuck off. He was so kind and he always lived life to the fullest. So may you rest in peace of crap! Is he playing video games at the funeral? Bros cranking 90s on the Switch Fortnite mid funeral? I'm so sorry. Sorry. I would make sorry. my kid leave. If anyone would like to come up and say some parting words, now would be the time. Imagine the kid goes up and he walks up to the dead body. <laughs> you made me lose my victory royale. I'm glad you won't be able to inhibit me from winning anymore. You made me fucking lose. Everybody got mad at me. Okay, come on, all right? I hardly knew the guy. Don't be disrespectful. Do you want your phone back or not? I think funerals are sad regardless of whether or not you know the person. Just being in a funeral setting where there's literally a dead fucking body and everyone's sad, it's, it's a sad scenario regardless. Hey, Jackson. What? Do you want me to do something funny? Do he does the take the L dance on his body. Oh! Wait. Oh, oh my gosh! I, I hear something. Oh, he's in there. He's alive. He's alive. No lie, I would punch the kid in the face. No lie. No lie, bro. If I'm at a funeral, I think he's alive. And he does the take the L dance, bro. He's getting a fucking roundhouse. Like, act, dude, yeah, no. That's so, that's so fucked up. I mean, I know it's, we're allowed to laugh at it because it's a fake Darman video. This isn't a real fucking funeral. But still. <gasps> oh, come on, all right. Well, if you're not laughing, you're trying. <gasps> oh, my God. Kid's the next Amy Schumer. Oh, come on. It was so boring back there. I just wanted to lighten the mood. It's a funeral. <laughs> what do you expect it to be fucking fun? You don't go to a funeral because it's fun. It was fucking boring. Really? Who would have guessed? Seriously, Daniel, you really outdid yourself this time. I mean, even for your standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Just give me your phone. I want to play Roblox. Uh, no. Oh, you oh, oh. Average Roblox player. Oh, you're right. I need a way to get a thousand bucks. Yeah, wait, how are you gonna get a thousand dollars? How are you gonna get a thousand dollars at the age of like fucking eight? You and me both. I can't imagine how difficult this is for you. Oh, what if it's a Darman twist and the kid starts selling crack? Kid tries to sell crack, fails, and then kills mom for iPhone 4. <gasps> is he gonna kill the mom for the life insurance money? Like Margie, the family put this together for you. Oh my god, not even the life insurance money, just just the check from like people that want to help with the funeral funds and all that. Goodness, no, no, this is too much. I can't no, accept this. No, please, we insist. It's... Just take it. Yeah. Did y'all know there's a death tax? I found this out the other day. When you die, the government takes your money for dying. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know that shit either. When you die, say you die and you have, like, fucking $100,000 of your name. The government will take a fraction of that money, even if you've already paid, like, the income tax on it. You, when you die, they take some of that money because you died. That's insane. I want to look at what the percentage is. It could be 40%. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, like, annual revenue tax. They're taxing that shit on dead people. I think I figured out how I'm getting my iPhone 14. So, you know how Margie got all that money? Is he gonna let his brother in on his plan to kill his mother? 
We should set up a GoFundMe for a funeral. <sighs> okay. Uh, um, Daniel, you do know uh, someone needs to die for there to be a funeral, right? <laughs> Are you gonna kill me? No, 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 not your funeral. Mom's funeral. You're gonna- Bro, he's genuinely serious about killing his own mother. Dude, that's like psych ward crazy. That's like you should go like you should go to a mental institute. This isn't this isn't like a Darman lesson. I feel like Darman has surpassed like, oh, be nice to your friends. Now the lesson is don't kill your own mom. I feel like that's self-explanatory. I'll act like mom passed away when she's gone. <laughs> Isn't that illegal? Like, wait, are you allowed to fake GoFundMe's? No, because uh, there was that there was that one story of those people that faked a GoFundMe for a homeless person, and they weren't homeless. There's like some law, like you can't fake, you can't do a GoFundMe for someone's death if they're not dead. Uh, Daniel, you've you've had a lot of dumb ideas in the past, but this, oh, this takes the cake, dude. I I mean, she's gonna find out, and when she does, you're gonna be in big trouble. No, no, dude. She's never gonna find out, all right? We're gonna delete the GoFundMe before she gets back. And if anyone Ew. asks, we have no idea what they're talking about. But the only people that are gonna donate to the GoFundMe are people that know her. So you're gonna you're gonna make the GoFundMe that your fucking mom is dead. You're gonna get the money, you're gonna delete it, and then be like, oh, my, no, mom pooped back to life. Yeah, she's alive again. Bro, what happens when people show up at our house? Look, why would anybody do that? I mean, mom has no friends and all their family's out in England, so there's no way that they fly out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This has got to be the best idea I have ever had. You know, he probably would have had more success making a GoFundMe for a new iPhone just with, like, some pity story about how he needs one to go pro in Fortnite or some stupid shit. You know what I mean? Wait, Grandma's here? Oof. Yeah. yeah, why don't we kill the grandma? Yeah, let's actually, let's just, let's just suffocate her with a pillow. Let's just, you know, when she's asleep, let's just smother her. Well, uh... Grandma, Grandma fell down the stairs. I mean... Oh, lovely. Look at the baby. How sweet. <laughs> okay, 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 that's, that's, that's enough. That's enough. Oh. <laughs> Mom. I thought there was supposed to be a babysitter. I know, but isn't this so much better? <laughs> That's my Uber. <laughs> Which means my retreat has officially begun. <laughs> I'm going to put this on airplane mode. Remember, this retreat has no electronics, so if there's an emergency, call the number on the counter. All right. <laughs> Who the fuck goes on a retreat at the age of like 60? What? No, dinner? It's 4 p.m. <laughs> Old people shit. Why do old people eat dinner so fucking early? I didn't realize that was that. You eat dinner at 3.30? That is menace activity. That is menace activity. Dude, I'll eat dinner at like 10. Like last night, I ate a fucking pizza at 11 p.m. And then I fucking streamed. Dude, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Uh-huh. That's why I'm putting her phone on to airplane mode. What? No, no, Daniel, seriously. Dude, even if you can get away with this... That doesn't mean you Dude, should. and why is the brother, like, talking down, like, the kid from doing this? Like, if you're, like, the, like, this, this guy is, like, ten years older than his brother. Just fucking, just yell at your brother. Just be like, no, you're not allowed to do that. Like, like the kid, you can control the kid to that aspect. Oh, hey, check this out. Super believable, right? Patricia oh, so Smith. sad. Getting teary out just looking at it. I can already see the money coming in. Hey, chances are I'll have enough to buy you an iPhone, too. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. iPhone 14? Yeah. Let me see. Uh, okay, these kids are terrible. Now he's in on it, too. Oh, really, an iPhone? Cha-ching! Oh, another donation. That makes $5,000. Oh, I see a dress I like. Now, look at that. Now, you and you stay right here. I don't have my phone with me. No wandering. You should refund those people. If you keep digging yourself into a deeper and deeper hole, pretty soon you're not going to be able to get out. Oh, another one. Wait, let me try that on my DJ Khaled voice. Another one. Dude. Oh, that was an unneeded line there, Darman. That was cringe. Soon I'm going to be rich. I mean, I'll be able to. Oh, my gosh. 
You two are Patricia's kids. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I donated a hundred dollars to your GoFundMe. I work in the same building as her. I heard about what happened. I am so so sorry. We're on. Yeah, the, yeah. I feel yeah. like she's also downplaying it a bit. I work in the same building as her. I'm sorry. Like she's acting like it's a car crash. Like you you believe that their mom is dead, and that she died like a day ago. I feel like you would be you would you would upplay it a bit more than oh I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? No, uh, I really appreciate the I, offer, no, no, but we no, actually, uh, we were... money. You could donate to the GoFundMe, but that's all I can think of. Of course. Stop. You know I was meaning to do that earlier. I had it up on my phone. Dude, did they think far enough of like what they're gonna do when their mom gets back? Like, what are they gonna do when when their mom gets back? Your mom was such an incredible woman. Think I'll do. $500. Oh, that oh is my. Oh. Oh. A lot of people have been asking, when's the funeral? Um, funeral? Yeah, that's what the GoFundMe's for, right? Right. Um, no, sorry. They're, they're, uh, it's, lost them in uh, a. Oh, and now the brother's in on it, too. If you were this far deep, would you keep going with the, the hoax? No. Dude, how would you, you couldn't, you couldn't fake a. And a funeral's so expensive, too. Why? Why? Why would you tell her that we're having a funeral? Okay, I had to say something, man. All oh, right? right, right, right. So let's just tell her that we're gonna have one, and then when everybody gets there and realizes that we're not, what do you? I don't know. We'll just let's switch. It. Let's switch it to the grandma. Let's kill the grandma. We'll say it was a mishap on the GoFundMe, and it, we'll, we'll wipe the clay clean. We gotta kill the grandma. We're gonna smother her tonight. Just have a funeral then. Crazy. You're literally crazy. Do you have any idea how much any of this is? No, but it can't cost more than. Six thousand dollars? Oh my gosh. I mean, can't there be anything a tad bit cheaper? I'm pretty sure funerals cost more than six grand, don't they? Did you say your grandma was coming? Oh, um, yeah, sorry. Uh, she's, uh, taking a nap. Uh, you know how old people no, are. No, the funeral's actually for the grandma. Can you bring the body in today? No! Uh, sorry, I'm just... It's just been a bit difficult, and we don't really want anyone seeing the body. Okay. They go kill a deer and burn that instead or something. So when can you bring it in? I can also call the hospital. No, 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 no. That would not be necessary. Is we it... lost the body. We don't have it. Thing is, we don't really want anybody seeing the body. Would that be possible? In all my years, I've never heard that kind of request. Somebody redeemed flex. Let me go ask my manager. Thank you. Going way too far. We need to call this off. Daniel, no, we're gonna get caught. Send it in the video suggestion. We can't, yeah. all right? We're already so far in. I mean, what happens when all the people show up at the funeral? Okay, so what are you gonna do? Just give them a fake body? Jackson? What? That is the oh, best. Oh, they go dig up a grave? They go dig up the guy that they just went to his funeral? Oh my god. This idea I have heard from you in my entire life. That is exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's not. That's, that's the exact opposite of what we're gonna do. The manager said if you'd like to supply the casket and we do a burial, then we don't need to see the body. And it'll reduce the cost a lot. Uh, yeah, how much is that? The dress? No, no, it's... no, 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 no. Not the dress, the mannequin. You want to buy our mannequin? Yep. Um, I've never been asked about that before. Uh, let me see if I can even do that. Doesn't this seem like a lot of effort for profiting, like, two grand? Like, they're faking their mom's death. Planning a funeral, buying a mannequin, performing the funeral, burying the body for two grand. Like the amount of time it would take and the risk, just just start working a nine to five at Walmart, okay? You're gonna fucking get the money quick enough. You're digging yourself into an even deeper hole. And I didn't think that was possible. But bro, even if you get a body, answer this question. How would you get, oh, I don't know, a casket? Look, I'm always one step ahead, so... I've already found one for cheap on Amazon and with the money that we've raised from the GoFundMe. It's like a wooden casket, like some Pirates of the Caribbean type shit. Just a wooden box. And that leaves me with exactly $1,000. Just enough to buy the new iPhone. Just No, post-tax. You're not buying the... What about tax? What about tax? Post-tax. And she leaves behind her oh. two sons. Would either of you like anything to say? Uh, yeah, Jackson. You know why? Okay, I'm not trying to be like a fucking Karen here, 
But the reason this wouldn't work is because if somebody dies, you have to go through their will and their belongings and how that's being traded to people. And they also usually do like an autopsy of how you died. They'll confirm that you're dead, right? Because you could theoretically just write off yourself as dead and then fucking flee to another country. So like this is impossible. Like, even if you actually perfected this method that they're doing, you wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, crap. I'm not very good at this. Uh... Wait! Wait! Grandma? Oh, no! Oh, no! I can't be... I can't... Oh, <laughs> How would the grandma believe that? Like, she just fucking found out that the fucking mom was dead. She just... She just found out that her own daughter died. At the funeral. I have to see her face. I'm like, no, 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 Grandma, you can't. No, no, no. Oh, no. Mom? But. No, no. Mom, please. Please. No, no, no. But how did. Did the mom actually die? Plot twist, the mom ended up dying. Yeah, she has to be trolling them, bro. There's no shot. I would be like. Dude, if I was a part of that and then you actually saw your own mind, I'd be like, what the fuck? Did we just put a mannequin in there like 10 minutes ago? Come back, mom, please. I'll do anything, anything, anything. Anything. Anything? Yes, anything. Mom? What the heck? But you're alive. Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. And I don't know how long you'll be after all this. Thank you all so much for coming. And I'm so sorry. My son here has wasted everyone's time. Oh, were time. they all in on but it? Very grateful to you for helping me to teach him a lesson. What? How would she fucking know? What is going on? What's going on is you're in big trouble. Grandma called the retreat. Okay, Let's nah, nah. What about the fucking older brother? I, like, I understand it's this kid's fucking idea. But this motherfucker did absolutely nothing to stop the brother. Imagine my surprise when I saw the GoFundMe for my own funeral. Very sneaky. Turning off my iPhone to airplane mode. I don't think that's that sneaky. I think that's probably the first thing someone would do. Oh, very sneaky. You thought I wouldn't find out. It only took me five days to tell that it was on airplane mode. When I turned it back on, hundreds of people had called me. I found out about this last night, and when I saw that everything was already planned, I figured I may as well just go along with it. Oh, look, I'm really sorry, all right? I just, I guess I kept digging myself into a deeper and deeper hole, and eventually, I couldn't get out of it. Uh, but what about that iPhone 14, Mom? Do you respect the dedication? I know I uh, faked your funeral and all, but, uh, you know, the fact that I actually went all through this way, you know, kind of shows that I actually want the iPhone. And I, I, I told him not to. I, I really tried. I'm sure. You but he's dressed for the funeral. You did, Jackson. But you could have done more to stop him. We need to discuss paying all these people back. Uh, 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 so oh, that's the worst. Have you guys ever broken something and your parents made you, like, pay them back? Dude, I broke I broke one of my friend's drum sets by accident once, and I had to do, like, chores for, like, three months. Like, three months. But, like, more than a normal amount of chores. Like, I did, like, everything at the house for, like, three months to, like, pay that shit back. It was so ass. It's so ass. I spoke with management, and they've agreed to refund everything if you volunteer after school every day here for the next six months and all of summer. Mm. What? Oh, no. So no. now. Oh. Yes, and then. Oh. All of summer. Oh. That's the ass part. After, after school, who cares? In the summer? Oh. I hadn't seen you both in so long that I bought you both iPhone 14. Wait, really? really? Oh, oh, really? What are the odds? Grandma thinks you're the best. You're absolutely not getting them. Yeah, bro, they act like they have, like, the iPhone 4. You know what I mean? Like, they probably have, like, the iPhone 10. Like, they're acting like they, they have a, a, the fucking Nokia. Now you kill the grandma for the iPhone. See, now they know the iPhones are in possession. Is this a good parenting punishment? He said, I don't remember who said it. It might have been somebody famous. If you know who it is after I tell the story, let me know. Your kid does something wrong. You just leave a shovel by their door. 
and they have to go dig. It was a kid, and he, if he did something wrong, he, his dad would leave a shovel and, like, a note of, like, how much he had to dig. And he would dig, like, a six-foot hole, fill it in, and then walk back. Like, that's, that's a punishment. Just making your kid fucking do manual labor for literally no reason. You just have to dig a hole. Your kid fucks up on something, up, oh, just go dig a hole for fucking six hours. That video's done. Next one. This is uh, an off-brand Darman.